Something a little bit different here for you, the Green Gales alumni game. We'll get it started with Paulo Grady to Josh Gilray behind the back for an early one to nothing lead. A former player and assistant coach, Nate Andres, will also check in with a goal for the green and white squad. The black and green outmatched from the outset. It's 3 to nothing before they get on the board. And getting the first goal for his side is Ryan Daggerton. White back to the score sheet. Kyle O'Brien takes the nifty pass from Gilray. He converts for the first of two in this game. Black looking to narrow the gap, but Mike Semenuk turned aside by Neil Roberts. So one number five cannot score. Moments later, the other five can, and it's Ryan McCrory beating Steve Walsh. One of the elder statesmen in the game, Brad Reed, can't take the pass and then remembers the importance of stretching as he uh, pulls up with a slight limp that I'm sure he'll feel for a few days. Best moments of pressure in the first half for the black and green. It's coach Jay Lee, but he cannot cut into the lead. Now the green and white awarded a penalty shot. Ryan Douglas, he piles on the pain for the green and black. Nearing the end of the first 20-minute half, daggered into Reed and put it on the board. The veteran will not be denied. And we had a short break between halves. It was 20-minute run time, and that allows for a little bit of family time here. Nice to see. After the restart, James Hinkson barges in on goal, and he is going to beat Liam Wynn. I tell you, Hinkson scored a few big ones on this floor, of course. White continues to dominate in the second half. Former captain Steve Borden waltzes in, and he is just going to make it look easy. Green and black outmatched on the score sheet, but not in the style points. It's Reed again in the strut after the goal, or maybe he's still limping. I'm not quite sure. Not close on the scoreboard, but lots of closeness on the floor. Green and white take it by a score of 22 to 6. Josh Gilray walks away with the game's first star, the prize, and a few tales to tell in the years to come.